Imbolc is coming up, the best time for befriending your domovoi, the house spirit, also known as brownie. Please advise what is the best way. I really want to befriend him, to see him, hear him, to understand him. Just having such a desire alone is half work done. It would work best if done during the pagan festivities in particular, which we have eight of throughout the year. February 10th would also be a good time, since it's Tomovoy's birthday, and it's considered to be a good day for establishing a personal contact with him. He becomes visible and easy to understand when he's well fed, roughly speaking. Any informational structure becomes more accessible to contact when it is filled with energy, when it is not depleted. That is why colleagues Domovoy needs to be fed, of course. Porridge with butter, with milk, and preferably on a regular basis. On Domovoy's birthday, on February 10th, it is customary to give him presents, something that he likes, depending on his personality. If Domovoy possesses a childlike consciousness, then it would be toys. If he has an older consciousness saged by experience, then it would be something more serious. Vodka with a pickle, for instance, or another treat. How to determine which type of consciousness does your house spirit possess? It is considered to be very well demonstrated by the outside appearance of the house. Domovoy is the consciousness of the place. Philosophically speaking, he is the mind of the house almost as if he was birthed by earth, taking a shape that eventually would be the shape of that very house. That is why it is considered that a much older brownie lives in older houses or apartments, in houses with a history, those that had remained on the same grounds for a very long time, where numerous family generations have lived their lives or a house that was built a long time ago and has some impressive human history. One can say for sure that firstly that house definitely has a brownie, because there are houses out there that don't have one, and it's very noticeable, being usually a barren ramshackle house where nothing works and you wouldn't want to live in. And there are houses that directly get this certain atmosphere, an atmosphere that is in some way associated with the host, because the Domovoy's consciousness appropriates certain consciousness traits of the host that he lives with. And if the hosts are grouchy, he becomes grouchy. If the owners are playful and mischievous and have many children, then Domovoy gets that way. Pay attention to the way animals behave in the house. Animals see and sense the Domovoy better than average people do, especially cats. Cats in general see everything better, but dogs do so as well. Cats usually have a close friendship with Domovoy, that's why they were thought to be their pets. He takes care of them and they play with him. And the way that Domovoy acts says a lot about his age and personality, meaning that by the way a cat acts says a lot about Domovoy's age and personality. Is he old, young, playful, naughty, if he likes people or doesn't like people, if he likes you or doesn't like you? Everything can be felt through the home atmosphere and by the animal's behavior, and by the way that you feel. When Domovoy is trying to get rid of a person, it is also very noticeable. Firstly, he doesn't let him sleep at night. He torments him, sends bad dreams. That would serve as a reason to try to appease your Domovoy, so to speak. In meditation, try to stretch your consciousness across the whole house and imagine that you, in fact, are this home. The walls of the house or apartment are your body. Its light is your eyes. Its floor is your legs. Just try to simply feel it. Become this very home. Become it in a physical sense and try to feel its beating heart. Try to locate a living element. One that is truly alive, a particle of life, a small spark within your body. And in the house there is also such little element of life. Try to feel it. Stretch your mind towards it as if it was your heart. And try to feel its pulsation, its breathing, its behavior, its mood. And soon enough you will be able to establish this contact. Additionally, provide energetic nourishment as well. I repeat that if a Domovoy is well fed, he shows up well, or at least more actively since, he is no longer in a semi-comatose state. Sometimes they fall into hibernation due to hunger. 
That is why Domovoy should always be full. Considering all this, as per his own rules, he would never take unless it was given to him, meaning that he can't just open a fridge and start chewing on kielbasa. Once again, the statement everything in this house is yours is also not quite correct, because he will consume everything. There will no longer be energetic component left to it. You will be consuming paper, meaning that all the food you have in your house will no longer nourish you, and then you will be surprised why you are gaining weight. Because you keep eating without getting satiated, since there is no energy in this food, living energy, since the spirits consumed it all. That is why you intentionally give it to him. Don't be greedy, feed him well. But at the same time, don't give away all of it, because otherwise you'll starve yourself. And keep establishing the contact. Just remember, this is the spirit of the house, its soul, so to say. Although not really a soul, but rather a spirit. Its breathing, its heartbeat, its craniosacral rhythm, its vital rhythm. On Dharma voice, on Brahmi's behalf, the house breathes, it exists, it becomes alive, it becomes sensitive, it will protect you, will feed you, will keep you warm, will keep you safe. Your home is your castle and it truly becomes one, just like your body becomes a castle for your spirit, for your consciousness. And you take care of it, just like you would take care of the house through the brownie. You can handle this task better than a person who sees the house as a material object. The house is not just a material object, it's a second body. And if you manage to feel it, then it will truly become your second body, your second defense, your protection, a helper and guardian.